Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with my Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we finished up all of Route 116, even the top part where we need to cut. We got the Devon Goods back from another team, from the same Team Aqua Grunt, and we battled May for the second time. So now, here we are in Mr. Brittany's cottage. We also saved Mr. Brittany's beloved darling, Pokemon Pico, which is the link right there. So let's talk to him. Mr. Brittany, I don't have to read that part. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Pico. Hmm, you're Grodel. You saved my daughter and Pico. We owe so much to you. What's that? You want to set? Sa you want to sail with me? Hmm. You have a letter bound for Duford and a package for Slayport. Then, quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly, but certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Yes, that's what we want to go first. Duford is then. Up, uh, anchor is away. Pico, we're setting sail, my darling. <laughs> He's so happy. There's the little boat. So this boat goes genuinely fast, which is awesome. We're gonna get interrupted in a second for a little bit. Oh great. Beep. Oh Grodel, where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Devon's Mr. Stone about you, Pokenav, so I decided to give you a call. Sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. Click, 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 click. Yeah, let's show Dad Neumann in the Pokenav. Dad Neumann, I like that. Dad Neumann, Dad Neumann, Dad Neumann. <laughs> you can't say that eight times fast. Well, you probably could. I don't know. So here we are. We slowly sailed to Duford Town now. Ahoy, we hit land in Duford. I suppose you're off to live with that letter too. Who was it now? Steven! <laughs> So, right when you go to this house, you talk to this guy right here at the table, he'll give you a good item. Gorge your eyes on this. It's a silk scarf. It's right at the cutting edge of fashion. Yeah. Oh, can I see your eyes twinkle? Oh, I can see your eyes twinkling. You you appreciate my dazzling style. Oh, you're a delight. Here you go. I want you to have it. Silk scarf. Which is silk scarf raises the power of normal type moves, and we have a normal type Pokemon on our team. Ha! <laughs> and with normal type moves in the final move set of this Waxa guide, so we'll get the Silk Scarf too. Uh, Speedy. That means Speedy will no longer have its pickup thing because it's already holding on him. I don't mind. I mean, we still have helpers um pick up for a little bit, and I mean by a little bit, a little bit. Like in between the next two parts, it'll be gone, but it's completely. But that's okay. Also, I sold some of my my tiny mushrooms and my X items last part, and I sold and I put away any, my ether I had in my bag in the item storage. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so yeah, we can just leave here now. now here's the po there's the Pokemon Center if you want. You can actually challenge the gym right away if you want to. But yeah, if you talk to this guy, I totally forgot him. My Ruby and Sapphire walks a guide. Or my Ruby Pokemon Ruby walks a guide. If you talk, if you say next to whatever you're saying, you know, I don't want to read his dialogue. He'll give you an old rod, and in this game you can catch Tentacool and Magikarp with old rod. I recommend Tentacool a lot for Water type. In this game, or even in Ruby and Sapphire, you can get about this time if you search for it hard and fish for it hard. You'll probably find one, and I don't care about dialogue at all, apparently. So yeah, and I decided to go with um, Azumarill instead as my final water type Pokemon, so... Because that's what I did in my original time I played um, Emerald. And up here are some battles, let's get to some work. I, I didn't read the route, but okay. What do people do if they need to go to the washroom? What if my rod hooks a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. That's gross, man. Gross. So here's Fisherman. What's your name? Fisherman Ned. He has a tentacle. Yeah, he's level 11. Nice. Let's just head around this thing. So close to fainting it, man. Come on. And now you confuse me? That's not very nice. Come on, Speedy, you can do it, you can do it. There we go, nice. That's all I experienced actually for Speedy. I lost because I'm trying to not to go to the washroom. Where is the washroom you speak of anyways? In the Pokemon Center? <laughs> I don't know. Also, this guy right here will battle you. What do you prefer, fishing in the sea or a stream? I like the sea better because you can catch way more Pokemon and way better Pokemon in my opinion. So yeah, I choose the sea. Fisherman Elliot. Oh great, a Magikarp. We're doing this crap again, no kidding. Uh whatever. Headbutt that thing. Ok, 
Okay, headbutt again. How is it faster than me? It's level 10. I'm just kidding. Goes the magic card. It's using tentacle, huh? Let's headbutt again then. I'm just spamming headbutt because that's my um, primary move for speedy right now. <laughs> it's better than tackle because it's more powerful and it has better accuracy. And you have, you have another magic card. How could I? How come I one shot the tentacle, but for the first magic card and I believe for the second magic card, if I can call it. Like, it takes more than one hit. It takes like two hits. Let's see if I'm right. Yeah, it takes two hits to faint a magic card level 10. But, uh, wait, maybe the. I forgot what level the. Uh, the tentacle was. Maybe it was only like level 7 or something. I don't know. But yeah, we finished and beat Fisherman Elliot. Like in deep sea fishing, I lost spectacularly. $4. Nice. Oh great, now this example of a- Oh my gosh, I want to make sure that fishing- Fishing's great, but so is battling. If you don't mind, can we meet again? And he's- We're forced to enter him in the Pokemon Ave. This, this is just so stupid. Here's Stardust, you can sell that for like, I think a thousand or two thousand dollars at Pokemon. But, fun fact, Doofruit doesn't have a Pokemon Mart. So, that's why I told you to stock up, um, at the last part, you know, I told you to stock up before going to Doofruit, because there's no Pokemon right there. I want to sell back, of course, but I want to save time because I'm a coin and all that. Yeah. If you talk to this guy right here, hey you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It, it, it'll be tough trying to explore. That guy who came by earlier, Stephen I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, so it ought to be alright. So he ought to be alright, but, well, for us hikers, helping out those that we need to, who, meet, who we meet is our motto. Here you go, I'll pass this on to you. It's your Muffet, which is Flash, which I don't really need Flash for this dungeon. But we'll be coming back to this dungeon, I might use Flash then, I don't know. It lights up even the inkiest darkness in caves. But to use it, you need the gym badge from the Doofit City, or Doofit's Pokemon Gym. Now, I uh, I don't feel like using a Repel right now, so I'll just, I'll just cut out the battles, I mean... Ah, there you go. Hope I don't run into too many. Right here, oh my gosh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, right here is an escape rope, so if you do get lost, you can just use the escape rope. Which I have plenty by now, because I have pickup too. <laughs> okay, so here's the dark part. I'm gonna actually look for a Pokemon right here. So, let me look for a Pokemon. I don't, I don't mean to, I didn't mean to do that. Gosh, darn it. Let's see if this is it. That wasn't it, but I got a little warp. Oh my gosh, why did you do that again? Are you kidding me? Seriously, just stop. Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Hey, we found it, yeah. It's an Aeron, and I've been wanting to use Aeron ever since I wanted to start this walk because I really never used it in the playthrough. And I know it's four times resistant to um, normal type attacks because that's steel and rock type. So yeah. So maybe speed isn't the best choice to weaken this thing down with. Okay, um, let's, let's go with a Shroomish. Because all the other Pokemon are super effective. All the moves are super effective. Um, let's go Shroomish for Shrooms. Um, let's Leech Seed it. You evaded the attack, great. I want to slowly weaken you down, man. There we go, nice. I want, can we use Sleep Sweet twice in a row or more than once? I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. I'll try it again and see what happens. Oh, we can use it. Okay. We'll just, try, we'll just keep on using the Witch Seed then. <laughs> oh, it's a low accuracy though. That's not good. Maybe you can't use it. To, I'll use it one more time. This is for sure. I'm pretty sure you can't use it more. You can't. You can actually use it only once, which is a blow. Yeah, you can, it seems like you can only use it once. Oh well. I 
This is a battle over the century, man. <laughs> Let's just use Taco. This gives me its defenses, how nice. I think it's good enough after this week's seed. Oh yes, and it's paralyzed too, which you can't really. Oh, yeah, you can you can you can paralyze um, arrows? It's not a ground type, but also you can't poison it because it's part steel, and poison doesn't affect a steel type Pokemon. So let's go and use that Pokeball then. Let's do this. One, two, three, pow! Yeah, there we go. Nice. I was caught. Awesome. Yeah, let's do this. Give a nickname to Aaron. Yes, of course. Let's. Get, um, I thought about this nickname for a little bit. So, since it's all, sh uh, it's, it's covered in armor at, at all stages of its evolution, I, I just wanted to nickname it Knight because I thought it was a good fitting nickname. And it's sent to someone's PC. Let's press the box one. Yeah. So now we can actually get this item from Helper. It's a power nice. Um, we're gonna go to and go for this one. This is all level 16 now. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use. I'm gonna use quite some repels. I think I'm gonna use at least three. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so I hate to use some more repels, but okay. That's fine. So, let's, I'm gonna show you how to get through here without flash. Because you can get through this cave easily without flash. If you go the way I'm going, you can pick up a bug ball right there, which is really nice. And then I want to show you something here if I can pick it up. Um, right here is a bicycle slope. We can't get that without the bicycle, which we'll get to that later. And that's why I said we're going to return to this granite cave eventually or uh, sometime soon after we get the bike, of course. If you stick to the wall like I am and keep on going to the right, you'll find this ladder. And then you want to go all the way up here and tap, just hug the wall so you don't get lost. Just hug the outer wall and you'll be fine. I gotta put that repel on. Nice, okay. And yeah. There we go. And I'm gonna go up here. And I think there's an item you can get here too. Where could it be? Oh, I think here it is. Yeah. It's an Everstone. It's really kind of a not useful item. If you don't like if you like Ash catch him who doesn't want to ever evolve his Pikachu. Um, because Pikachu won't let him evolve him. So yeah, you can give a Pokemon the Everstone and that'll prevent it from ever evolving. But I'm not having. I want, I want all my Pokemon to evolve and be their final evolution state or stage. So that item is practically useless to me. I mean, in some circumstances, I get it. If you want to like prevent a Pokemon, that's really um. I I don't know. Like, I, I'm just against it, honestly. So sorry for being against it if I offend you guys. So once you get over here, you just go straight across to the other ladder, and then bam, you're in the actual wider part of the Granite Cave again. And my pro off right there, of course you did. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. My name is Steven. My name is Steven too, but I spell with a PH instead of a V. I'm interested in rare stones, so I travel here and there. Oh, a letter for me. Go ahead and hand over the letter. Okay, thank you. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. Let me see, I'll give you this TM. You can use my favorite move, Steel Wing. TM 47 watch your Steel Wing. I obtained it. Yeah. Your Pokemon appear quite compatible. If you're looking, if you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know since we've gotten to know each other, let's register one another in our Pokenavs. You just gotta love that chime. Now I've got to hurry along. Yeah. And you know what? We're actually gonna use that escape rope right now that we picked up. I have seven, so I might as well use one. So use an escape rope now, baby. Okay, there we go. So, I want to actually teach Steel Wing to one of my Pokemon. I'm going to teach it to Peter. Yeah, there we go. What's the one Steel Wing? Yes, which one should be forgotten? Uh, yeah, which one should be forgotten now? Um, let's give it a, um, let's give it a growl. Peter went stealing nice. Okay, this will be a shorter part actually now I'm looking at my time and all that. 
That's okay. We're gonna actually pick up our last Pokemon that we for the for our final team actually, which was the Aeron, of course. So now, let's, let me see. Does the helper have an item on it by any chance yet? Nope, it doesn't. Okay, just checking. Okay, so let's go to someone's PC and let's go to move Pokemon. And there's our knight. Now let me see, please let have have a certain ability. I'm really hoping. No, not sturdy. I'm gonna have to catch another Aaron, because I want a certain ability and I'm really picky on this one. Let's just release this one. Fine, we'll release it. There we go. Okay, we're gonna have to go back to Granite Cave and catch another one. All because it doesn't have the right ability. Because I have like two moves on this final move set that um that need the certain ability for which I bet you can guess right now what the ability is and what two moves they have. Dang it! Oh man. Oh, that's so frustrating. I was I was okay with um my brain and all that, but like I want my Aaron to have a certain ability. I'm really picky on this one. I'm sorry, guys. So let's go back to the second part of Dufu or Granite Cave. I said I almost said Dufu Cave. Oh man. Okay, we found another Aaron. This one's level 10. How oh, nice. Now please have the right ability or I'm gonna cry. Put your lead seal on it. There we go. There we go, nice. Stop the energy away from this Aaron. <laughs> attack, attack. Watches and Harden. Come on, man. I know it's four times there's a stink or something. That's a code on the head, but nice. Come on, effects will kick in. Dang it. Not quite. It needs to kick in soon before I have to throw the Pokeball. Because that'd be a better chance of that status condition on it. So I'm gonna throw the Pokeball now, even though it might be a little early. I still wanna be sure. Pokeball, let's go. I don't left this to catch it. One. Yep, I was doubting myself. <laughs> Come on, we have to we have to catch it now. It's now or never, man. Okay, let's do this. One, two. Oh my gosh. Come on, Aaron, you're gonna faint. You're gonna faint, man. Hopefully you won't faint, but I'm pretty sure you'll faint. Oh my gosh. I have to catch it now or the next time we see will come around and kill, faint it. I almost said kill it, jeez. Faint it. Dang it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One, two, three. Thank you, okay. Aaron was caught. How nice. Connecting to Aaron, yes. Well, will name this one night too. So please have the ability I want. Please, please have the ability I want. Yes, I want Rockhead. That prevents vertical damage. So yeah, you can guess that the to the two new Pokemon, the new moves I want at five. Its final moves that would be Take Down and Double Edge. But Double Edge, I think it only when it's an Aggron, when it finally becomes an Aggron, it won't learn Double Edge till 63, level 62, I believe. So yeah, I'll put a text away to correct myself. But I want Rockhead ability because that's really awesome. I think it's a nice ability. Yeah, I used it in my test run too. So basically, let me do the rundown on you guys. Everyone will be level 20, except, okay, hold on, we do it individually. Knight will be level 20 by next part, and then 
Prime will almost be level 18. Speedy will be almost level 20. So, okay, let me see. Let me get that one again. So, Knight will be 20. Prime will be 17. Which is pretty easy. And then, almost level 18, by the way. Speedy will almost be level 20, but level 19. Dwayne will be level 20. Peter will be level 20. And then Shroomish will be level 20. Or, Shroomish will be level 20. So, let me use another escape rope. Please. If I can find it. Okay, escape. No, are you kidding me? Okay, so, I'm sorry for this part being surprisingly long. I thought this one would be short. If I had to go pack and catch another knight. So yeah, expect those levels by the next part. So, and the next part we'll take on the gym, actually. Because I'll be done with my training. Because we already did the Dover the Rider to Steve and all that. We finished all of Town basically. So this has been Dragon Ball again. I'd like to thank you for taking in. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.